Before you begin installing any hotfix, find out where the Sage 300 ERP application is installed on your computer. Go to Help, then System Information. This will tell you where the program files are installed. In this example, it is installed at the local C drive of this computer. Any hotfix that you download must be copied to this location. You're now ready to install a hotfix. Let's begin. First off, go to support.na.sage.com and click on Login. Enter your portal credentials in order to download the desired hotfix. To find a hotfix in support.na.sage.com, either search the fix or the document number. In this example, we're going to install hotfix 25133, where document total is calculated using multiply instead of divide as the rate of operation AR customer inquiry OE invoice tab. Alternatively, you can find a running list of all the hotfixes for all the currently supported versions of Sage 300 ERP over at Sage City in the Sage 300 ERP support community. Click on the hotfix link. and scroll to the end of the article. Under attachments is the hotfix file. Click on the link to start loading the zip file. Once completed, open the folder. Before installing, read the hotfix readme. This contains important installation information. In our example, for hotfix 25133, it tells us to install the hotfix by going to where you have Sage 300 ERP installed on your system. In this example, we're going to install it here. Before copying the hotfix, rename the original file. The reason why you may want to do this is that if you make a mistake in installing the hotfix, you can revert back to the original file. The hotfix has now been applied. If you are downloading an older but still applicable hotfix, you will use the following steps. In this example, we are installing hotfix 210-100-3930. Choose the applicable version of Sage 300 ERP for the hotfix. Click on Download. Then click on I agree to the hotfix end user license agreement. A pop-up will appear prompting you to either run or save the hotfix files. Click on Save. Before installing the hotfix, ensure that you have quit Sage 300 ERP. Go to the folder where you have downloaded or saved the hotfix. In this example, it was saved in the My Document folder slash hotfixes. Double click on the hotfix executable file. Follow the installation prompts. Ensure that Open the Extraction folder is checked, then hit Close. If checked, the folder containing the hotfix file should open automatically. If not, then open the folder at the location you noted to verify the existence of the files. 
Before installing the hotfix, we recommend that you view the README file, which has important information including the instructions to copy the hotfix. Copy the extracted hotfix DLL file or files Go into the program folder where Sage 300 ERP is installed. Before copying the hotfix into the appropriate Sage 300 ERP folder, rename that file or files. The reason why you want to rename the file or files is if you make a mistake installing the hotfix, you can revert back to the original file or files. Now that the original file has been renamed, we can begin copying the new file into the Sage 300 ERP program file folder. If prompted, click on continue. The hotfix has now been applied. Please note that if the program files are installed on the hard drive of each computer, then the hotfix file must also be applied to each computer. The steps in this video are applicable for any hotfix you want to download and install. And that is how you download and install a hotfix.